I remember when I was in, in the university, when the teacher says, we need to suck the air from the laminar boundary inside the wing. How? It's impossible. And everybody, everybody laughed, but I feel something inside me that says, it's not impossible. Since 2018, the EU Clean Sky 2 initiative has taken aviation technology to new heights. Amongst its many innovative projects is HLFC WIN, which makes hybrid laminar flow control on the wing now possible. In collaboration with five countries, the consortium partners have worked hard to put their ideas to the test. Only how will this groundbreaking technology contribute to a future of greener flying? The HLFC WIN uh, project is a very challenging project. Actually, it has been tested for several years, this type of, uh, of idea. But actually, here with HLFC WIN, we are achieving a higher maturity and a closer maturity to uh, something that we could uh, put on our, our future planes in order to reduce the carbon impact of uh, aviation. HLFC Wind is aiming to design a simplified and advanced HLFC system which can be adapted to industrial needs, really to deliver a significant block fuel reduction on aircraft. In order to complete the final phase of this mission, elements designed by the different parties were accepted by the consortium to be assembled at Air Nova in Spain. The consortium members must be 100% sure all elements are ready for production. So right now we built a demonstrator, 800 millimeters in span. And what is open from that point is uh, to assess the HLFC system in general. What we are doing here is we are wrapping up uh, what we have done since now. We are collecting all the ideas that we had and finally we are getting to a solution which really shows us how to uh, go on in the future and to prepare our results in a way that we can show that our plan to establish HLFC laminar flow on wings is possible in the near future at quite low cost and low risk. The next task, take the prototype and make it full scale. A fully functioning HLFC win ground-based demonstrator. The teams from Onera, Zonaka and DLR have submitted the contributions for production, while Air Nova continues to manufacture their parts over the next 14 months in order to assemble the demonstrator. I think it's a very good milestone in the aeronautic industry. We will see what happens, but we are in a very good position because we join forces between a lot of uh, companies and institutes uh, to deliver a very good product. There has been a development of six years in total, and now it's really awesome to see all those technologies coming together into one single demonstrator and see that it's also functional and working. Today, we're going to show the functionality of all systems that are built into this demonstrator. We're gonna see the suction that is produced by the compressors. Deployment and retraction of our Kruger system. As well as the heat transfer into the skin by the inductive de-icing system. To complete final testing of the HLFC system, a wind tunnel model is shipped to Ornera in Modane, located in the French Alps. Ornera in uh, HLFC wind 
uh, works on the assessment in realistic conditions of the uh, HLFC concept and we perform for this uh, some uh, several uh, wind tunnel tests. So we have uh, two uh, different wind tunnel tests. The first one is to control what is occurring on the attachment line of the wing. So this F2 test was already performed uh, early this year and now we are moving on the S1 test where we will assess uh, finally the drag reduction and also uh, to, uh, to find some control law to uh, then perform this kind of uh, uh, concept in real planes. In parallel, an icing wind tunnel test campaign was performed by Zonica at Cranfield University Icing Facility UK to prove the functionality of the inductive ice protection system working under real conditions. In 2024, the HLFC Wind Project has reached the end of its six-year mission on time, cost and quality with a successful TRL-4. Only will it ever be flown on a plane able to show its full capabilities in action? What will its future now hold? If I wrap up the complete project as we had it right now, I would really say we're on a very good TRL-4, technology level, of four, which really proves that the technology that we developed is uh, suited for serious production and that our ideas are really valid. I think the success of this project is the knowledge. We are building a very good knowledge, uh, not only in a scientific manner, but also in an industrial manner, uh, to be ready for a real aircraft. The other HLFC work package in Clean Sky 2 is a success story because it will deliver manufacturing technologies, assembly principles, design principles to be applied on real aircraft design. Through trial and error, determination and transnational teamwork, this project is proof that challenging initiatives set out by Clean Sky 2 can be met, showing how European-funded research and aviation technology can be created to have a positive impact on our environment. The future of greener flying is no longer an impossible dream. It is our mission.